We are so close to getting this thing moving. So close to getting this thing firing. Now all we have to do is put on the lasers. If we put on the lasers, load up some firmware, and that's really it. Like Then we can start it firing. There's still a lot more steps to do if you want to finish the thing, right? Like install fans, uh, you know, put a case on it, put a lid on it. There's quite a few other things we can do, but in case you're getting impatient, <laughs> we're like really close to actually like using this thing. So what we're going to do here is put on some lasers. So I'm using the UV diode, right? Weak diode, which has great grayscale. And this five and a half watt, which is really probably about three watts. That's fine. Okay. Now we got all these holes here, right? We got the side that has the holes 16 millimeters from the center and a center hole. We got the side that's 20 millimeters and then the center hole. Okay. Now, both these are center hole mounts. So that's easy, right? Just screw here, screw here, screw here, screw here. Now, these ones are easy to get to. But how do you get to the top ones, right, with the drag chain in the way? Well, the drag chain actually kind of just lifts right up, right? Kind of easy there. So what we're going to do is, so, see, that's 3 millimeter acrylic. So I guess I'll, I'll use 8 millimeter uh, M3 screws for this. And washers. Right, and then let's find a tool to actually screw these things in. Here we go. Okay. So grab one of these screws here. So got a screw. It's got a washer on it now. And I'm going to start with the top one, the hard one. So I'm going to lift the drag chain. And I guess I'll put my, uh, my, hmm, I don't know. Let's see. So the half watt, the cable outputs are over here. The three watt, the cable outputs are over here. I'd rather have them centered than the cable separate, right? So I guess I'll, I'll start with the half watt over on this side. Okay, so again, the screw... The washer, I want to lift up the drag chain and start screwing that in. Okay, so it's pretty tight, but not like so tight it won't move. And that's because I still need to get the bottom screw in. Oh, wrong hole. Whoops. Let's get it through that center hole here. There we go. Try that again. And this one I'm going to tighten all the way down. Okay, so that one's tight. And then I'm going to go back to the top one here and tighten that one the rest of the way down.
All right. One more time with the next laser. Well, I guess I'll start with the top screw again. Okay, tighten it down almost all the way. It can still wiggle a little. I'm loading up my screw off screen, by the way. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, and then finish tasting the one up top. All right, and now we got lasers on the head. Cool, okay. Next thing we're gonna do in this video, is try to center our uh, our rail here and line up our end stop. So with everything mounted, I can see that if I go over here, I know it's gonna come off the rail. I don't quite want that. And there's tons of space right here, okay? Now if I go over here, it stops too soon, right? It actually has a little bit of space to still move, but the end stop stops it and the rail there's lots of rail left over here. So, first thing I want to do is everything's still on here, right? I'm just going to loosen the rail and move the entire rail over. All right, this one I had four screws in. Okay, and just slide the rail. Enough so that the right side, I guess I'll need to loosen this too. At the, so enough that the right side comes close to this piece here. That looks pretty good with the rail. Okay. So I'll tighten it over here. Tighten it at this extremity. And then start tightening the inner ones. All right. Okay, rail centered. Now I need to make sure as it hits the side here, it hits the end stop. So I'm going to need to push it all the way to the side and then bring the end stop in enough to touch this.
All right, so I can hear it clicking when the laser gets all the way to the right. Perfect. Okay, now I come to the left, and it can come off the rail if I'm not careful. If I really wanted, I could just put in a screw right here so it doesn't actually pop off. All right, I could just put in a drop, drop nut with a screw just to make sure it doesn't come off, but I'm pretty confident in this, and it doesn't come that far off. It'll jump back on. <laughs> Not the safest way to do it, but if you're nervous about it, just feel free to put in a drop screw or a, a drop nut with a screw in it and put it in there. Just enough to hit the, the carriage. All right. Okay. Cool. Very satisfying. Okay. In the next video, we're going to be wiring this all up. Thanks for watching and see you soon.